Thousands of inventions and new ideas shaped the Industrial Revolution. But there is one icon in particular that symbolizes the start of the Industrial Age. The steam engine. It was not only the driver of industrialization in a direct sense, the steam engine also made it possible to generate the required mechanical and later also electrical energy anytime, anywhere. In this way, the steam engine became the essential driving force of our modern industry. The impact of digitalization today is compared by some to that of industrialization 150 years ago. Digitalization entails new structures in value creation, new forms of work, and new business models. But if the steam engine is the icon of industrialization, what is the icon of digitalization? From my perspective, it is the networked computer. On the one hand, the networked computer is the basis of all new algorithms and concepts, from the digital twin, the digital image of all processes, to artificial intelligence, which can make decisions without every option having been programmed beforehand. On the other hand, however, communication is needed in order to feed the correct information into these digital models. After all, algorithms can only create new value through the use of previously unused data. The industrial Internet of Things is essential in order to further develop a business model in its various facets. What does this mean for your company? Let's take a quick look at the architecture before we talk about the added value for your business model. First, we need to take a broader view of automation. Rather than just executing programmed rules, it is important to be able to react quickly to unforeseen trends. This is something that digitalization can do and is the only way for companies to be resilient and adaptable in an increasingly dynamic environment. For this purpose, data needs to be made available end-to-end. -end. This applies both to data that is already in the controllers and to data that was previously not collected at all. A new communication concept for the digital factory is needed. The familiar automation pyramid, in which data is processed and forward hierarchically from one layer to the next, is replaced by the industrial Internet of Things. The industrial IoT can be well described by a layer model, which we have compared to the automation pyramid on the right. First of all, the things in the Internet of Things are required, that is, the information sources from smart objects with corresponding communication capabilities. Alternatively, technologies such as RFID are used for connection to the IIoT. The second layer, connectivity, refers to the actual networking as infrastructure, either wireless with WLAN and in the future with 5G or with wired communication. Layer 3 is the platform for aggregation, storage and processing of data, as well as the runtime environment for the applications or apps that realize the actual usage of Layer 4. And at the very top, Layer 5 is about how actual benefit for you as a user can be generated from this architecture. We will look at a concrete example in a few minutes. There are many technical innovations in this context. Three examples. RTLS, or real-time locating systems, enable the position and identity of moving objects to be fed into the IT system at any time. Each of these objects, containers, transport means, tools, etc., are equipped with a transponder. There is also a variant with display here, which can show various information to employees depending on the position and object status for a new form of interaction. Semantic Cloud Connect 7 is the right solution when it comes to connecting existing plants. A lot of data is present in the Semantic S7 controllers because the sensors are usually connected to the controller. With Cloud Connect 7, this process can be made usable for digitalization, also with systems that still use Profibus and usually without changing the Step 7 project. But Cloud Connect 7 can do much more. Prepare to be surprised. 
Thirdly, devices such as power supplies can provide important information for the IIoT. One example is the CTOP PSU8600. It offers an OPC UA interface and can regularly transmit the power consumption, for example. If a DC drive generates an increasing power consumption, this can be detected and a maintenance technician can be sent to the site in good time. That is, before a failure. How can you generate added value from this or even develop your own business model further? At this point, I want to welcome a long-term partner of Siemens, Marcus Michaels, CEO of Focus IT and Automation Solutions. Marcus, your company has IT and automation in its name. An interesting combination. How did this come about? Yes, certainly. An interesting combination, also a good one. Time and time again, our customers tell us that it is a significant advantage that we are competent in both automation and IT. And this represents significant added value in working with Focus. Uh, from the start, the topic of IT has played an important role in our company development. Many of our customer projects are about more than automation. Often, customers are looking for solutions in order to create added value from the accrued data. We can offer customer-specific solutions here. This made it easy for us to get started with digitalization. We have been a partner of Siemens MindSphere for over three years, have developed our own app for this, and are currently implementing initial edge solutions with our customers. Today, we work with a powerful team of more than 30 automation and IT experts in order to realize customer projects in Germany and the rest of Europe, as well as worldwide. These range from process automation in a highly modern chip manufacturing plant in Germany to a fully automated parking garage in the Porsche Design Tower in Miami Beach, which is also known as the most expensive parking garage in the world. How do you work with your customers to create new value from the IIoT? Do you first look at the technology and think about what you can do with it? Or does a business need to come first and you look for a suitable solution? Both actually. Especially in the area of IoT, it often happens that our customers have not dealt intensively with this topic. We are then the ones who try to offer customers added value through the use of IoT. Uh, for example, we've just developed an Edge demo case to help our customers get started with Edge technology. The customer can get this demo case from us for four weeks and can connect it to their existing plant with plug and play in order to very quickly see important key features, for example, the OEE of the plant. As a rule, however, it happens that our customers have a requirement and we offer the solution. This may be pure automation or a pure IT solution. Often, however, it is a combination of the two, which is right up our street as we master both disciplines. Let's get down to specifics. You have brought us a customer project that you realized using the IIoT, that is, digital connectivity in a digital twin. What is involved here? And data tracking of very high-quality tools in a production plant is involved. One customer is from the printing industry. We can see an example of such a plant in this image. The task was to automatically track the tools used, printing rollers in this case. Um, previously, this was done manually through entry in an Excel list. The quality of entries left a lot to be desired. Maintaining the list was also very time-consuming because the tool changeover taking place multiple times per day had to be correspondingly entered in the Excel list. Cross-tool access was also not possible. We can see such a tool in the next image. We equipped a roller like this with RFID tag. 
which was installed on the side of the roller. On each startup of the plant, we scan the RFID tags of all the tools in the plants and save them. We can then assign all relevant data, for example, operational performance, manufactured product, etc. In this way, the customer gets a complete history of the tool. How was this process realized from a technical perspective? The project was realized with Siemens RF600 products, of course. We see an overview of the configuration here. The RF642A antennas, which record the tags in the plant, were used here. The antennas are connected to an RF680R reader. This can manage up to four antennas. In addition, we connected indicator lights to the reader in order to show the workers in the production plant whether the system is working properly. The readers communicate with their own PLC. This is also connected to the main PLC of the plant, via which we receive data from the production process. For example, the mileage. The entire system archives its data in an SQL database in the customer's IT environment. The customer can then access the data via a browser throughout the whole company. We have also connected the solution to MindSphere so that the customer can make selected data available to the tool suppliers. In this way, they can be informed about upcoming tool revisions in good time. We are speaking about added value due to IIoT. What does this project mean for the customer? Why is it worth it? The customer is now able to obtain a consistently valid history of the use of the tools. Furthermore, in the event of production complaints, the customer can see which tools were used to produce the product in order to locate possible tool errors or block the tool completely for production. However, the greatest added value lies in the improved utilization of the tools. Some of the tools can cost up to 100,000 euros each. The more efficient use of the tools means enormous savings. Thank you for your interesting insight. It is clear that the IIoT really is the right way to remain competitive in the future also. Together with our solution partners, we will shape your path to a digital company.